Hey YouTube, welcome back to I Love Me, Me, Me in my love room. And today we are going to discuss situationships. So stay tuned for that. All right, family. So today, as I mentioned, we are going to discuss situationships. So first of all, let's define what a situationship is. <laughs> this is basically where you're doing everything like you're in a relationship, but you're not. This is a little bit different from friends with benefits because with friends, with friends with benefits, you are making sure that you guys are basically hooking up to have sex or to do other things, but specifically um, sex with friends with benefits. So this situationship is a bit different. So today I'm going to give you four ways for you to tell if you are in a situationship. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. The very first one is that you guys do not have a title right you don't have a title um, which is why it's called a situationship versus a relationship or um, friends with benefits because your person might be saying um, they don't like titles right he or she might be saying that they don't like titles that they don't want things to change the way they are um, they're not ready for a relationship they're not cut out for a relationship so think things like that anything to divert you from getting a title on what you guys are doing specifically a relationship right so that's the first thing no title the second thing is if you are uh, making all of the effort to spend all the time with them so you're the one that's constantly reaching out to them you're the one that's making all the plans to make sure that you guys see each other and hang out this is where you're 100 percent of the time making all of the effort and this started from the beginning up until now so that brings me actually to point number three um, where you're doing all the calling, all of the texting, and if you don't do that, again, if you don't do that, you won't even hear from the person. And this could be for days or even weeks. So, if you're in a situationship and you're the one who is constantly reaching out, whether it's call, text, email, instant message, whatever it is, all the time, and then let's just say, for instance, you actually do have a very busy day or even a very busy week. Him or her, you ain't going to hear from them. <laughs> they not even going to reach out. They could kind of care less whether you're in their lives or not. And this is why you guys are in a situation ship in the beginning. Because if you hear from you or, or her, then they're okay. But if they don't hear from you, they okay too. And do you really want to be around somebody or giving your time and energy to somebody who's okay with not hearing from you? Nah, well, you shouldn't be, especially if you're looking for a relationship. But if, if you're okay with this, then don't do anything about it. But if you're looking for a relationship, you should not be the one that's doing all of the calling or all of the texting. And again, if you happen to really be busy and then you don't hear from them at all that should be a problem for you all right anyway the last thing if to make sure so you know that you are in a situation ship is you guys have never been out on a date now you might have met somewhere or even out on a dating site or at the grocery store just out and about to watch your day whatever and then y'all met up and it was like for coffee or for like ice cream that really wasn't a date that was a qualification is what that was. That was you and that person trying to see if you wanted to even go out on a real date. Are you even worth me taking you to this restaurant and paying my money? Because we know coffee. That's basically a, a cheap meeting. Not to say anything's wrong with that, but I just don't want you to think that that was an actual real date. It wasn't. <laughs> now, um... You know that you're not having dates because you guys are only hanging out. It's always at his place or always at her place, but you guys are never in public together, right? Only hanging out. Or they might call it, let's kick it. Or, you know, you know, again, there's just no real effort put into it. I don't have to worry about thinking about what we're going to do um, today, tomorrow, next week, anytime in the future at all. Because you're really not on the person's radar for them to put in the time, effort, and energy into you. And you do have to look at yourself in the mirror, mirror with this because all of this is happening because you are allowing it. Now, I want you to let that sink in. You're allowing this situationship to occur. 
because you are the only person that can change this. And what do you have to do? You just have to know in your spirit, in your heart of all hearts, that this is not what you want and you have to walk away. Because you're not being fulfilled. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this up. Thank you guys for listening. Thank you for clicking on my video. Um, definitely share it with your friends and family throughout the social media. If you guys are looking for a relationship coach, I'm your girl. <laughs> so you can hit me up either on YouTube, um, like in a, via, via email, I can't even speak, via email, or you can hit me up on my uh, Gmail account. And all of that is in the description box below. I will talk to you guys soon. Deuces. <laughs>